before we move on from WWE, because a bunch of listeners sent this in, so let me ask you about this to get it out of the way. Did you see Brian Alvarez's advice for Austin Theory? No, I actually, I may have missed this. I have not heard that young Brian had advice for Austin Theory. People have been sending this in. They want to know your thoughts. It's been a very popular topic, Hold the Cornet Facebook group. Now, and apparently, as we've talked about here recently, Brian Alvarez thinks he's a wrestler too, right? Because Well, he's the, been a wrestler. He's wrestled. Well, yeah, he's wrestled for promotions that, you know, want publicity in his newsletter or whatever. But certainly to God, he doesn't think that he is on the, on the same plane, the same level, the same rarefied air as Austin Theory, who's one of the five best young wrestlers in the business today and as a future WWE world champion in the next three to five years, does he? Well, again, we haven't heard what he said. Maybe he has very valuable advice. Maybe you're going to hear this and go, you know, I always knew that Alvarez had a good head on his shoulders. Okay, well, and, and at least it's not like JD's. He can <laughs> hold his up straight. I knew you were going to fucking go there. But anyway, back to this. Here's a quote. Austin Theory, if you're listening right now, whoever's telling you to do this, stop listening, okay? Stop working this absolutely, positively, boring-ass 1990s style of wrestling. Oh, my God. Like, it's not the right kind of heat. It doesn't work in 2023. You're getting lapped by young guys all over the world. What? He's getting... Who is lapping Austin Theory at the near top of the cards in the biggest company in the business? Who are telling him to work that way? Because that's the right way to work. That's the thing that makes him, he's actually talented enough and good enough and mentally has the wherewithal to be able to work like the guys in the 90s and 80s. Nobody uh, on a mainstream basis today, practically even in the big companies, has that talent. He has it naturally. The timing and the fucking grasp of, of psychology of what he should do. That. He's outperforming everybody, not only in the biggest company in the world, but in every other place that we see, everybody of, of equivalent amount of experience to him, he's better than. He stood out since day one because of that. He has the physique and the size and the look and the promo and the attitude and the wrestling talent. And this numb nuts idiot is telling him, don't do, don't do so good. Do the shit that all these other little children do around the world and all these outlaw promotions that books me. Don't do what your employers that are paying you, I would assume in the high six figures, and it'll probably pretty soon be seven when he's world champion. Don't do what they want you to do, what you're so good at. Do what all these other jack-offs that are never going to sniff the WWF unless they buy a ticket do. That's Brian Alvarez's advice. Thanks a lot, pal. What the fuck is the matter with him? Who is lapping Austin Theory? It may maybe MJF. What about Wheeler Yuta? Dan the Daniel only... Garcia. Daniel no, no, no. Garcia. Daniel Garcia and Wheeler Yuta are lapping Austin Theory. They're the valet parkers. They're driving around back and forth to the parking lot, parking the fucking expensive cars that Austin Theory is buying with the money he's making because he's a fucking superstar. Good God, what a moronic thing to say. The idea, again, he called it absolutely positively boring-ass 1990s style of wrestling. Is that part of the problem when you have people that, especially people that are really into the gymnastics aspect of wrestling? The marks that want to go and just do what they have fun with doing, regardless of whether it draws any money, makes any sense, or is insulting to the business. That's where Uncle Dave, for whatever point, he lost his mind, and his little stepson here, Brian the Brain Alvarez, and all of the rest of their friends and the people that they like, that's the deal. No, we want to go do all these cool moves and do flips and, and, and have fun with our friends. But if somebody gets serious or points out that they look like shit, that nobody can visually take them seriously, or that their work looks phony and won't convince anybody or just for the whole wrestling is supposed to be silly and populated by a bunch of children crowd. That's good, but don't fucking ruin 
this guy's career because that's what you think wrestling is. Unfortunately, that's what most of wrestling has become, which is why we are now talking about an ever-decreasing number of people that can stomach to watch this shit. What advice would you give Austin Theory? Keep doing exactly what he's doing. Apply himself to every opportunity he gets. Get there early. If you can get into production meetings, if they'll let you do that so you can see how the show is put together, talk to the announcers, feed them points you'd like them to make about what you're doing, study the technical aspects, and watch the agents. Because as young as he is, after he finishes being the world champion in three to five years, then he may very well be, because he seems to have a head for the in-ring of the wrestling business at least, I don't know about booking, he's only in his 20s or whatever, but he could be a behind-the-scenes guy that would have a career there at that company for 30 fucking years, if he so chooses.